भीमोत्सव आहे भीमाच्या जीवनातला आनंद लुटण्याचा हा सण दलितांची दसरा दिवाळी ज्याच्या सावलीला विटाळ होता तो या देशाच्या घटनेचा शिल्पकार होतो ये बात इनको नहीं अच्छी लगती इसके लिए उन्हें संविधान बदलना चाहिए व्हाट इज द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ अंबेडकर टू दिस इंडियन सोसाइटी ए कंट्री के अंदर कास्ट और क्लास अलग-अलग नहीं होता है उस कास्ट में देखो भगवान का संरक्षण इंसान करेगा फिर भगवान क्या करेगा पागल के बाजार में पत्थरों का बेटा इफ यू वांट टू नो द हिस्ट्री ही ओनली यूजर्ड इट एंड कन्वर्टेड द शिव टेंपल इनटू ए मजार जयभी In July of 1997 someone probably upper caste Hindus vandalized a statue of Dr Ambedkar by putting a garland of chappals around it to protest the desecration of the statue many people took to the streets the state police came i think in order to quell the protests but they fired and murdered 10 people now keep in mind these were people who were completely unarmed and what they were doing was just protesting The police made up some bullshit excuse that the protesters were going to light an LPG tanker on fire so that was their justification for killing 10 people. Vilas Ghogre who was a poet, activist and folk singer saw what had happened and he was shaken by it the sight of so many of his people killed ruthlessly broke him he committed suicide to protest these killings anand patwardhan uses this as the premise of the film to delve deeper into the history of the dalit community and the case that follows the killings if you are a film student or an aspiring filmmaker i think this is one film that you should definitely watch For example just watch this one sequence In this short sequence where people are going to Chaitya Bhumi to pay their respect to Dr Ambedkar the director could have just shown people walking to Chaitya Bhumi paying their respect and cut it there but he uses the musical performance along with the shots of those people walking with the shots of the statue and ends the sequence with images of multiple parties holding trying to appropriate Dr Ambedkar Now just in these 40 seconds the director has managed to bring across three ideas Ambedkar's role as the emancipator of the oppressed castes his role in making the constitution and politicians trying to use his image to get political mileage so here the director isn't really using anything fancy technique wise it's just normal cuts made at the right time i can only imagine how difficult editing this must have been because anand patwardhan in his interviews has said that he doesn't necessarily shoot with an edit in mind the entire film is technically made on the edit this is one of the best edited documentaries that i've seen in a very long time the use of music the use of talking head shots the use of archival footage the use of news footage everything just comes together perfectly and speaking from a purely technical standpoint i never got bored i was shocked sure i was appalled yes but never bored because when you make a film you have to maintain something which is called as um visual variation or the viewer gets bored if you just watch a video of me talking continuously for let's say more than 30 40 seconds you're obviously going to get bored but throughout the film anand patwardhan uses cutaways uses b roll uses a bunch of these techniques to 
make sure that the viewer, that the audience is not bored. I think this is why this three hour film doesn't feel like three hours. It it does feel emotionally taxing at times, yes, but um, you never get bored. But Vardhan juxtaposes this development of the Dalit narrative with the cultural stagnation among the upper castes, with their fetish for skin lightening creams and the popularity of websites like simplymarry.com that advertise Brahmin grooms and perpetuate the caste system, all within the framework of the resurgence of exclusionary upper caste pride in politics. That was a very long sentence, but uh, that article from The Caravan is a very good one. You should read it. Link in bio. Link, link in description. Pahela mind ko attract karne wala sound hai. Even Meera you take. Even uh, Thukaram. Why? Because wo log apne ek chota sa instrument leke. Ek itam Krishna ban jate the, Ram ban jate the. Chota sa instrument tambura leke. And we the people singers, revolutionary singers. who came from the dust and we adopted their methodology that's why we are in a position to reach to them what i really liked about the film was how the songs and music are used as sort of a connecting tissue throughout it they help break the monotony of just the talking head shots and help further contextualize the narrative and the history of the dalit people i think the use of music especially in this context which is an investigative ethnographical film says a lot about how music and songs have actually helped keep culture alive In most backward castes, music is the only way to promote ideas and culture. The oppressor may keep people from learning how to read and write, but he cannot stop oral history. The, the songs at a popular level become part of the process of sensitization. Ki how you really sensitize community, make them understand the, the the pain, the sufferings which they are, and what kind of a things they want to they want to go. The political leaders during that time. would also insist for the performances you see okay fine when there is a sabha when there is a gathering and they would insist no there should be a performance also see bansode was acknowledged by dr ambedkar he said that the things which i cannot do in one gathering or but you do it to so many people by reciting your songs you sensitize people so you can understand the power of poetry the power of songs in this kind of movements in making people sensitization there is this whole idea of realization that becomes very very important we were looking for an actor and we thought you might fit the role yeah yeah why me because we wanted someone who looks like a dalit what dalit uh, hello i come from a proper palakkad brahmin family and you want me to act as some dalit palakar brahmin yeah the discreet charm of the savarnas is actually a film by director rajesh rajmani it's a hilarious take on what savarna people actually think dalits should look like it inverts all conventional tropes that have existed in film about caste so far you should definitely watch it but coming back to jai bhim comrade there are some very interesting interviews with upper caste folks uh, being a warrior as well as a brahmin learned warrior is what is required in today's day according to me we need to understand that there is some speciality in the genes so why not collect all the people and try and find solutions to the bigger problems if we have the genetic capacity why not this this learned warrior stereotype is bullshit what the guy was saying is basically i believe that my blood is superior than all of the others and with this inherent ability we should all appoint chitpavan brahmins to work together and do something good for the rest of society now okay that that may have been funny and horribly horribly wrong but coming to more serious stuff anand patwadan interviews youngsters um, i'm guessing they're college students or maybe people who just started working and this is what they said tenchi devdi yogyata nastana sudha tanna to kota dila jato डिग्री डिप्लोमावाले लोक आहेत ते लोक त्यांच्या तोंडाकडे बघत बसतात आणि म्हणतात अरे रे आम्ही सुद्धा त्या जर समाजामध्ये जन्माला आलो असतो तर कदाचित आम्हाला इझिली नोकरी मिळाली असते मग नोकरीसाठी तुम्ही दलित व्हायला तयार आहेत का नाही मुळीच नाही मुळीच नाही जे लोक इथे येऊन घाण करतात ओके त्यांची विचारसरणी अजूनही कनिष्ठच आहे तुम्ही जे म्हणतात की ते घाण करतात उलट तुमची घाण ते साफ करतात 
त्याला यु नो मी नाही काय करू शकत ते लोक जर स्वतःहूनच बोलत असतील की मला नाले सफाईचंच काम करायचं त्याला मी नाही काय करू शकत त्यांनी सुधरावं ना त्यांनी मोठं व्हावं मग सो अंकल वॉन्ट्स टू अवेल रिझर्वेशन बट इज नॉट वेलिंग टू चेंज हिज कास्ट फॉर दॅट and he's saying that dalits are people who are dirty and lowly and that they willingly khushi khushi they want to go and pick up filth with their own hands and they're very happy doing these kinds of jobs sc st obc ye jo ye technical classifications hai but in jatiyon ko social progress financial inclusion education in spheres se in jagahon se इन्हें एक्सक्लूड किया गया और सिर्फ एक्सक्लूड नहीं इन्हें वायलेंटली एक्सक्लूड किया गया अगर एजुकेशन एक एम्पावरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट है तो इन कम्युनिटीज को एजुकेशन की सबसे ज्यादा जरूरत है अगर आप सचमुच इस बात को मानते हैं कि इंडिया नीड्स टू डेवलप एंड ऑल इंडियंस शुड है इक्वल अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड हमें इंडिया को एक सुपर पावर बनाना है तो आप सुपर पावर तभी बन पाएंगे आपके जब पिछड़े से पिछड़े वर्गो में सोशल अपलिफ्टमेंट हो This is a film about the Dalit people how caste is still thriving and it's a very honest portrayal of our inefficient and corrupt state machinery. Jai Bhim Comrade is a film that took 14 long years to make. It took 14 years because Anand Patwardhan was waiting for the result of the court case. Imagine 14 years to bring justice to 10 people who were killed. Oh and they didn't get justice by the way no one went to jail Anyway uh there is a lot of stuff i haven't spoken about or shown uh because it was too graphic and because i genuinely with all my heart want you to watch the film it is 3 hours long but i can assure you you will come out of it learning so much more than you did before you went in if you've already seen the film i hope i showed you a different perspective if not it's fine um let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, like the video if you liked it if not dislike it it's cool if you're still watching this the reason i am not looking at the camera and looking down is because i have my script there and i'm very bad at memorizing stuff so i'm just going to read i hope that doesn't uh, devalue the value of what am i saying